before we get to Adriana. Guy was driving five miles under the speed limit. Moron. Oh, I never should have allowed myself to be bullied into bringing you along. That man said I was to come alone. That man isn't calling the shots anymore. And neither are you. If he does something to Adriana before we get there, I swear I will... Nothing is going to happen to Adriana. Nothing. Look, please just put the gun down, okay? My mother is gonna come alone. She's not gonna involve the police. It's like you said, she doesn't want them to know she hired you in the first place. She do stuff like that often. I don't want to talk about her. I just want you to put the gun down, please. Why? So you can pick it up and use it on me? Just unload it then, all right? You, you can threaten my mother with it, but nobody has to get hurt. You'll have everything you want. Well, not exactly everything. The man said he knew exactly how long it would take to get there. If we're late. Never mind the man. We won't be late. Just what is this plan of yours? To get Adriana safely away from this maniac. Duh. How? You just worry about your part. Follow that creep's instructions, transfer the money. While you are doing what? Whatever it takes. Which means? That means that Adriana is the only thing that matters. Okay, the only thing. If I get hurt, if somebody else gets hurt, so be it. As long as she's okay. Well, of course. I would die for her. <laughs> yeah, and then you just end up selling your soul to the devil so you can keep running her life. Just one minute. You stop that, okay? I am not responsible for what this man is doing. This man was on your payroll until he decided to up the ante by becoming a kidnapper. Let's just hope he hasn't morphed into something worse in the meantime. You said all you wanted was the money, and my mother is on her way here to give it to you. So why are you looking at me like that? Didn't you get the lecture in health class? Oh, please. What? You know what, Bruce? The thing about keeping somebody scared for weeks and weeks is that they finally reach a point where they just don't care anymore. You're very brave. It's one of the things I really came to like about you. Well, that really makes my day. <sighs> You're so tough. You don't back down. And obviously, you're as beautiful as they come. I'm about to come into 10 million bucks. <laughs> that means I can change my name, go wherever I want, do whatever I want. But you know what? Leaving behind everything and everyone I know, a man could get very lonely. It will never happen. Okay. Okay. So I guess I'm just gonna have to settle for one beautiful memory I can take with me into the sunset. There's not gonna be a beautiful memory or anything else between you and me, okay? I'd rather be dead. I really don't believe that, but I'll take it under advisement. All right, we're almost there. Check your service. I want to make sure you can make that call to the bank. Uh huh. I'm good. All he really wants is the money, and uh, he's not going to jeopardize getting it. Right, he's just a businessman. That's right. Businessman who broke into your house, ran a knife up and down Adriana's body. Please stop. I don't, I, I don't even want to think about that. You listen to me. You can lie to yourself about what you did, but you may not lie to me. 
You say all he wants is money as though that excuses what you did. I didn't do anything. You hired somebody to terrify your own daughter. No. Yeah, and now that somebody has gone off the rails and taken her with them. You, know, you, you could pay him the $10 million and he could kill her anyway. I refuse to believe that. I don't care what you believe. I know what you did to keep me and Adriana apart. Was it worth it? She was one of the toughest, the strongest girls I have ever known. Now, thanks to you, she's been terrified for months. I never intended for any of this to happen. But it, it happened. Now someone's gonna pay. Your mother's late. She'll be here, and you'll get your money, and you can disappear, like you said. Oh, you're pretty sure of her, huh? She might have hired you to scare the hell out of me, but she wouldn't let me die. Yeah, women like that. They think money is the answer to everything. But sometimes, even money just isn't enough. Now, if you're quiet, I won't have to kill you when it's over. so you could untape your hands and grab that stick. Why do you have to do this to me? Why can't you just take the money from my mother and leave me alone? That was a really stupid thing you did. You know that? Stop pointing that gun at my daughter. Or you're not going to see a penny of the money you want. Oh, it'll be worth it to be rid of the two of you. You get me my money. Or I start with a pretty one here. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I will splatter you all over this rest stop. Oh, who else did you bring there, Mommy? Oh, I didn't bring him. I, I swear to you, he, he must have followed me, and the police are in no way involved. So stop pointing that gun at my daughter, and I, I'll make the phone call, and, and you'll have the $10 million deposited in your offshore account just like you told me to, and it'll be win-win all around. Oh, yeah, that'll happen. I'll drop my gun here, and the blonde guy with the cannon here, what? He's gonna let me drive off into the sunset so I can get my money? You put that gun down. Can you see this is over? Does this look like it's over to you? I'd suggest you drop that piece and kick it towards me. Please just do what he says, Rex. I said kick it over. Okay, Mommy, you get over there with the other two. Are you deaf, Dorian? Are you blind, Bruce? How good a shot are you? Pretty good, but even if I miss, I'll make sure you're singing soprano in the prison choir. <laughs> <laughs> 